And we pick up with this gorgeous whore. It's by J. Whore, and I have marked it as Cleary, but I'm pretty sure that it is a different pattern name. It's heavy, stunning blank, very, very deeply cut, sort of a block square design on the sides, and then fancy radiating miters on the bottom, 10 inches in diameter, super heavy. It's an impressive piece in person, and it is $4.95. In the back, we have the 15 inch diameter cut glass tray or charger. It is cut in the Tiffany pattern shown in the Swan book. Massive tray at 15 inches diameter, super heavy. It is 7,500. It has the um, faceted diamond pop star centers. Really nice collectible piece. I've usually only seen this in like eight inch or possibly nine inch diameter silver rim bowls. So to find it in a tray is very nice. Here's a large 17 and a half inch by 10 inch wide diameter, ice diameter, length ice cream tray. Cut in the Ellesmere pattern by Libby. Very rare to find a full size tray such as this. The blank is stunning, the cutting is impeccable. Here's a triple miter ship's decanter, uh, very deeply cut, great clear blank, stunning quality, 1-1 uh, rated pattern, it is $12.50, and the ever popular Queen's pattern Rose Bowl. I believe this one's six and a half inches in diameter, superb quality, thick blank, uh, deeply cut, as a hop star center and it is signed of course the rose bowl is shown in the Pearson books I believe volume one the rose bowl is $14.95 this is a great wine or sherry set I should say it's the um, liqueur glasses are flared at the top it is cut in Ellesmere has the faceted neck ring and faceted stopper, which is correct. All the pieces are signed. The wine bottle is 15 inches tall and the set is $18.95. That's a nice buy. That doesn't turn up very often. And here is probably the best whiskey bottle that was ever made. I have this identical whiskey bottle in my personal collection. It's also Ellesmere by Libby. It's a stouter blank than typical. Uh, crystal clear, just cut to pieces as a faceted neck ring. Um, 14 and a half inches tall. The pattern is shown on page 61 of the red and gray Libby catalog. And this whiskey is $23.95. There's a trophy tulip shaped two-part punch bowl it is massive it is 18 and a quarter inches tall 14 and a quarter inches in diameter has fabulous cut hob stars blazed triangles with hob stars double mitered triangles and cross hatching lovely shaped base which presents it tall in display and pattern cut collar. It's an amazing rarity and it is 6800. A really nice whiskey bottle. It is 13 and a half inches tall, has a pattern cut plug, star cut on top, great clear blank and nice cutting. It, 13 and a half inches tall and it is 425. Got a nice Florence Hobstar humidor. It has, it's by um, Meriden. Hetch has cane cutting and, and a great clear blank and it's got the um, Wilcox Sterling top 
It's got the hallmark, and that is $7.95. That's a really nice piece. Got a huge 9-inch rose bowl. It's very early. It's cut all in diamonds. The main miters are very deep. It's got uh, opposing fans and cross-cut diamonds as the main motif. Uh, the rim is notched and it has a star base, but it's a huge size and I picked that one up right so it's only $4.95. I have a 10-inch diameter plate in rosacea by Tuthill. It is signed, has a little wafer base. The blank is just radiant. The hop stars are just glimmering in display. The copper wheel flowers are very well done, very artistic. Great central hop star. And the plate is $9.85. That's a really nice item. I have a massive 22 inch tall trumpet base. It's cut all in diamonds, um, fans on the top, star diamonds, crosshatch diamonds, and then the pattern repeats. Star cut base. It is pre-1900 and it's $2295, but for the show special, it's less than half at $1100. It's a big piece, and you can see in the booth. Here's a signed Hawks iris pattern celery tray. It's shown on page 117 of Pearson Volume 2. Excellent blank, lovely engraving, nice, nice quality, 255. Here's a large 16 and a half inch ladle. It has a double bowl. It's in excellent quality. The metal is Hallmark Merritt and Silver Company A L. Um, I assume it's silver plate. 99% of those are. That would go in a nice 14 or 15 inch punch bowl, and the ladle is only 275. Then we have 1 1 rated wisteria pattern by Libby or Lovebirds pattern, 8 inch diameter plate, really shows off the pattern. Um, nice in display. It is shown in the Libby book by Foster and it is $5.95. Here's a massive bowling pin vase. It is most likely by Black Mirror. Large hob stars, starred shields, hollow diamond cut neck, and then a scallop top. 16 inches tall is huge for this type of vase, and this one is only $5.50. That's a nice buy for the show. Great colored, solid color amethyst water goblet. It's cut in the vintage or grapes pattern by Pearpoint. The foot is also engraved. I do have four of these available. They are $4.95 each. This is the first time I've ever owned these. And then over here we have 1-1 one -one rated Byzantine pattern carafe by Meriden. This is a true rarity it's almost impossible to find the actual pattern and not a variation. A very collectible item, wonderfully cut top and neck. It is $29.50, but that's a trophy piece. This is a cute cordial set. It is by Hawks and signed. Um, it's cut in flutes with a plural. It's footed, has the starburst foot, hollow pointy stopper, um, matching four matching cordial stems, and that set is a show bargain at only $125. Miraculously, I have two pieces of Byzantine. Here's an 8-inch diameter bowl, and remember this is a one of the rarest 1-1 one -one patterns out there. Bowl blank quality is impeccable, the cutting is immaculate. Um, just one of the best patterns out there. The rim was probably professionally restored, but to find this in such good condition and, uh, and the real pattern, not the variation, is very rare. It is 3800. 
Here's another piece by Alhambra, by Meriden, in Alhambra, I should say. It's a uh, water set, has the water carafe and six tumblers. Uh, it's Meriden's probably most desirable pattern, and these are shown on page 44 of the Meriden Silver Catalog. The top of the carafe is step cut. The hob stars are, are cut on the base of the tumblers. It's a great set. Here's a stunning and rare three color, tri color wine stem. It is cut in Venetian by Strauss. It's cranberry cut to yellow. Color is very vivid. The cutting is sharp and precise. Solid notch stem and then a hop star base. The stem is 2150 and this is the last one that I have. And another tricolor stem by Strauss is this octagon diamond pattern wine. It's the same color combination, cranberry cut to yellow, St. Louis diamond uh, stem, star cut base, just fabulous quality, and it is $16.50. And the rarest of the rare in color is this rainbow decanter. Square body, which typically is done by Dorflinger. Color is really nice brilliant uh, cranberry and deep yellow faceted stopper star cut base uh, it does black light as I recall and it I think it's nine and a half inches tall possibly ten it is $24.95 I haven't had that long here's an impressive cobalt cut to clear trumpet vase a big 14 inch one it's cut in the Harvard pattern by Val St. Lambert. Excellent quality, deep, deep, rich color, nice cutting, star cut base, and it is $11.95. Then another 1-1 quality pattern is Plymouth by J.D. Bergen. I don't run across this very often. The blank is stunning, the extra blazing in the miters just makes this piece radiate in person. Love the swirl, cornucopia type effect between the fancy hop stars. It's an 8 inch diameter bowl and it is $14.95. This is a massive 10 inch rock crystal engraved and geometric cut bowl. I was told that this was Nelson by Fry, but I have yet to find documentation as such. The engraving is very beautifully done, a lot of detail, um, hop diamond point hexads, pretty detailed hob stars. This is just an impressive piece in person, and it is 1875. Another Ellesmere piece is this 8 inch diameter bowl. It's shown exactly in the red and gray catalog. Superb quality blank, deep wide cut miters. And it is five fifty. Another one one pattern is this Russian and Pillar square bowl. The tusks are just so impressive. They're deep, they're carved out. The Russian also deeply, deeply cut, sharp to the touch. Big piece, it's nine and a half inches square, super thick, super heavy. It is twenty nine fifty. And that will take a break on part three and pick up with the